Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Floppy Knights. This is a cool little tactical RPG where you use monsters or creatures that have been captured on the the save icon um, to, to fight your battles and stuff. You know, it takes place on like a grid and everything. Seems pretty cool. I'm very, very interested in it. So let's go ahead and hop in. The art reminds me of um, Dicey Dungeons. Same kind of stuff. BB, is it completed yet? Just a sec, Carlton. Advanced robotics are not that simple. I've waited an entire week. It only took you a month to make me. Implementing an upgrade for me should only take 30 minutes maximum. 30 minutes? Are your math processors broken? Relax, almost there. Just a few more screws and then... All right, you're ready. Ready for what? This, I just finished installing a floppy disk drive on you. A what? What does this floppy disk do? You're about to find out. I put a very special program on this one. Ooh, can we test it out? Sure can. Fascinating. Look at that little guy. I call them floppy knights. They're tangible projections I made by sequencing elemental magic into code. Wow, that sounds nuts. They can touch things, grab stuff, and in this one's case, kick my tools. Wow, what a fantastic little oddish. Mom and Dad are always on me to take on a magic profession. <laughs> that's an interesting. That's an interesting twist. They want the parents want them to take on a magic uh, profession in this world instead of like a STEM profession. But I keep telling them magic is overrated. Science is the real magic. I was thinking these floppy knights could help us uh, take on odd jobs around town. Let me show you how to use them, Carlton. I am ready whenever you are. Yeah. Well, this is the, well, we're getting set up quick. I'm not really sure how the game plays out. Like, I'm not sure if it's like, you know, linear levels like in some of the older Fire Emblem games or what. I really have no idea about this. I just saw, I just saw it. It's been on my wish list for a while and it looked cool, so. All right, let's go over the basics, Carlton. Loading training simulation. You don't need to say loading training simulation for it to work, you know. Correct, however, it is important to have fun while you work. This is true. Battle Starto. Alright, so this floppy knight is called Succulent Kicker. Okay. Well, practice by fighting him with another floppy knight I've made. God, the music and everything is immediately amazing. Meet Captain Thistle. They're a commander unit, sort of like our team leader. Oh, I can see their stats right here. HP is their health. For each zero, they'll be removed from the field. Attack is how much damage they'll deal. Speed is how many tiles they can move. And range is the distance that they can attack. I thought that was going to be accuracy. So, HP attack, movement range, and, uh, distance. Every single time I see a bullseye like that, it always makes me think of accuracy. To play a unit, we drag the unit card into the blue deployment zone. Commence dragging Captain Thistle's card into the blue deployment zone. Yeah. Sweet, Captain Thistle's on the map. Alright, and we just drew our cards. I also just love card games, so there's that too. You can see their HP number in the bottom right corner. Now that they're here, let's use them. Each turn, our commander generates a special card for us to use. And we draw five cards of our own from the deck. Oh, I get it. Now that a unit is on the field, we can play other cards on them. But we have limited energy every turn, correct? That's right. We can see how much energy we each card costs here. Anything we don't play gets discarded at the end of our turn. It will be reshuffled into the deck when we run out of cards. Yes, I'm intimately familiar with this while playing as the Silent on uh, um, Slay the Spire. Now let's use Captain Thistle's special card to move. First, select the Plow Ahead card from the card bar. Unit gains plus one move uh, speed this turn. Move unit, delete. Okay, so we get a free movement and we get an extra speed. Okay. Nice, Captain Thistle's ready to move. The move over here. Let's do that. Each unit can move a uh, number of tiles equal to their speed stat. Let's move Captain Thistle to this tile so they'll be in range to attack. I love the art and animations, they're so adorable. There are a couple of ways that a unit can attack. See that little uh, sword icon on Captain Thistle? Each unit gets one free attack each turn that costs no energy to use. Ooh, okay. Wow, so I could do like a hit and run here. If you see the sword icon on the unit, that means they haven't used their free attack yet. We should left click on Captain Thistle to activate their free attack. Yeah. You can attack any unit in the highlighted tiles. God, the presentation on this game is amazing. 
Now, left click on the succulent kicker to attack. Bob. Victory. Notice that the Sark icon is gone now, which means we use Captain Thistle's free attack. That sword will come back every turn. Remember to use it. We did it! Carlton, nice work. Yeah. Okay. Initially, very impressed. I mean, I know a big shocker. Okay, so we got an attack card. And we got another Captain Thistle. Cool. And I got 20... 20... D bucks. 20... B... B coins. Something. BB, that was incredible. We are so powerful. Everything worked perfectly. We should try this out on a real gig. I estimate we are ready to take on a job and make some... sick cash. I love when you use human phrases, Carlton. Oh, look at their little... Oh, this game is adorable. Let's go. I'm, I'm already in love. I'm already in love! It has cute art and it blends some genres together. I thought you were... I totally thought you were the, the, the gym leader from uh, Pokemon Black and White. <laughs> it's the hair and everything. Even even got the like little apron thing going on. That's immediately what I thought of. It doesn't help that I saw a video with that particular gym leader in it today. Mom, Dad! Baby, I hope we're not interrupting anything. Your mother and I wanted to talk. About how I need to get a job, I know. You've told me like a million times. BB, you're 16 years old. You've been shut up here, tinkering away at all this stuff for so long. We're worried about you, honey. I demand you get out there and enjoy your life. Take on some responsibility. Get a job. It'll be great for you. you might even make a few friends. I have friends, Mom. I have Carlton. Yeah, sh sh They built this, like, sick robot arm. What was wrong with you? That's awesome. Yes, but you built Carlton. No offense, dear. None? None taken. Listen, I have a plan so I won't have to get some boring job. I'll even make enough money to buy my own place. Wow, your own house, huh? You really do have lofty goals. Everyone else my age is doing it, I can't fall behind. I've made an invention that will help us take on work. And I've completed it just in time for the Gadget Cup competition, too. If I win that first place cash prize, I'll have all the cash I need. The Gadget Cup. That's that science tournament they hold in town every year, right? Right! And this year, I'm finally old enough to compete! I'll make some quick cash if we win. You know, having regular responsibilities and people that depend on you isn't such a bad thing. I've been able to use my fire magic to do all the smithing for all of Toggle Town. <laughs> fire magic, awesome! <clears throat> and everyone loves her for it! We're always inundated with thank you cakes. We gotta get a second fridge! Phoebe, we're really proud of how talented you are with all this technology stuff, but as this plan of yours doesn't work... You'll have to go work as a blacksmith with your mother, at least until you find something more stable. Fine. This'll work, though. I've already got our first job lined up for us. Just give me a couple of days. We'll leave you to it, honey. Alright. Cool. World map. Okay, so we have a world map. Interesting. Not what I expected. So different zones where I'm imagining different things take place. I don't know what to use my coins on yet. I can't really do anything else. Well, blacksmithing's probably upgrading our cards. Alright, let's go to the farmhouse. Okay, so we have a certain amount of levels. Okay, so that's how it's gonna play out. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like a linear story or what. Beat all of uh, enemies, objective, bonus objective, don't lose any units. I would like to try and get the bonus objectives. We'll see how hard they get though and if I can stick to that. I wouldn't mind getting them though. <clears throat> We're here! The job board said to meet at this farm on the outskirts of town. I wonder who our client is. Oh, it all sounds so official. Client. Job. Look at us, Phoebe. Soon we will no longer be an unnecessary burden on your parents. Jeez, Carlton. We really need to work on your bedside manner. Can I help you? Uh, hey! Are you the one who posted the job? Yup. You must be Phoebe. I thought you said there'd be two of you. There are two of us. I am Carlton, an artificially intelligent arm created by Phoebe. Yeah, that's great. Uh, right. What seems to be the problem? It says here on the job posting that you are, uh... Terrorized by vegetarian goblins. Listen, kid. I try to keep a tight farm, but every day those forest goblins are snatching up all my crops. Perhaps we could grow some more carrots. How hard could it be? That sounds like a lot of work, Carlton. I just need you to keep watch and keep them away from my crops. I love keeping watch. I do not need to blink, so I am very proficient at it. Okay, but I'm gonna need some kind of down payment. Here. 
Uh, seeds? I meant cash. What am I supposed to do with these? You could make a lot of money planting those. You could even defeat some zombies. Now go take care of my goblin problem. Fine. But you better leave a good tip when we're done here. Carlton, we'll post up over there by the... Target sided. What? The goblins, they're right over there. I told you I'm proficient at keeping watch. <laughs> Check it out, fellas. I don't know what kind of magic this lady's using to make food come out of the ground, but I'm just loving it. Let's fill the bags up. Those little punks. What are you waiting for? Go get them. Yeah, the art definitely reminds me of Dicey Dungeons. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like the same artist. But I, I don't think it is. The one this battle defeat all the enemies. Okay, so when you mentioned protecting your crops, I, I thought that's what it was going to be about. I thought I was going to have to um, win the... Uh, win the battle while protecting some some kind of uh, objective, but no, it seems like that's not the case. Do I still only have Captain Thistle? Check it out. We'll always draw the commander first at the start of every battle. Uh, okay, so we can't... Since you're a commander, I, I can't get multiple of you, I'm guessing. One second. Remember when I said the commander was sort of like our team leader? We can we can let other units take as many hits as we want, but our commander is the, is the leader, and if their HP reaches zero, we lose. We can right-click on any enemy and see their movement and attack ranges. Let's keep an eye on our enemies to keep our commander safe. Okay, so you... three speed, one range. Okay, so you're a grunt. 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 You're the special one. Slobby Gobby. <laughs> please. Please stop. <laughs> one letter changed in that, or, or two letters changed in that, and it becomes something very different. <clears throat> Alright. So, uh, impassable or flank? Okay, so we're dealing with mountain tiles as well. So you're kind of stuck over there. Nothing too crazy. My only problem is I wonder how effectively I'll be able to heal. Okay. Unit gains plus one speed this turn, move unit. Ooh, but it gets deleted. This card is removed from this battle when played or at the end of your turn. Wait, this card is removed from this battle when played or at the end of your turn, so I have to use it now? Is it a card you spawn? Is it like a limited time card? Like a card that spawns but has, um, what is it? Ethereal in Slay the Spire? Alright, let's use it now, I guess. Fine. And let's see, if I move over here... Sorry. If I move right here, you'll be able to attack me. If I move right here... Oh, it looks like I can be attacked from just about anywhere. But if I move right there, I can be attacked from two different locations, so... I'm just going to move right here. Right? Oh wait, no, I can't be attacked by two enemies if I move right there. I will be kind of boxed in, though. Let's just, uh... Let's just move right here. Okay, yeah, no, here I'm safe. Okay, yeah, that's where I want to move then. Sorry, trying to be trying to be efficient here. Um, so, bop. Luckily we do four damage, so that's an easy kill. Um, I think I'm gonna let them come to me now, because, like I said, I'm in a safe spot currently, so... Seems like a good call to me. It would be nice to go ahead and get the optional objective on my first try here. Wow, they didn't move. Why not? Uh, Succulent Kicker. Okay. So we do have another unit besides just you. Oh cool, and we have So too. Move unit. Flip to Reap. Attack a unit flips to So after use. Wait, what? This card will be transformed into an, in a new card. So I move and then it gets flipped to Reap. Okay, so I can just keep using it over and over again to move and attack. Okay, well that's interesting. Um, unit gets plus one attack, destroy. Um, that'll be useful on you. Um, let's go ahead and use that on you. Um, and then I think I want to... Go ahead and put this down. Attack a unit and push it in the direction of the attack. Hop. Move a unit for zero energy cost. So it adds kick and hop whenever I summon you. Okay, the problem being you only have two HP. Luckily, it seems like all of these enemies only do one damage, except for you. You do more damage. Slobby gobby. <laughs> just just hate the hate the wording on that. Um, alright, so attack an enemy knockback. Hmm. Um let's see here. 
Move unit, flip to reap. So what's your movement range right now? You can't get to where I want you to get. Um, I can hop. Yeah. So let's move you over here. I have observed that some terrain will give our units a bonus. These forests uh, will give a unit extra defense against an attack. Okay, cool. Um, I would prefer to just not get attacked at all, but... Ooh, if this will aggro them onto me, they both only do one damage. Yeah, no, no, let's do that. Um, although I could just walk up here and kill them, but... I'm assuming this means I'm not going to take any damage when my turn rolls around, because I have one defense and they only do one damage. It's early game. Uh, let's experiment a little bit. I'll keep you there because I don't want you to die. But I would prefer to have your support. Let's experiment a little bit. Uh? Okay, no, you still lost HP. I wasn't sure if they would hit a zero or what. So... Oh, no. No, you... You only lost one HP, but you got attacked twice. Did you maybe heal up? Do you have, like, an auto-heal? Maybe. Sorry, I might I might be forgetting a mechanic or something there, but, um... Alright, so... Let's see, what do we want to do here? So... You can just attack from right here. Bob. And you can... Attack, again. And then you can... Move. Yeah, right there. Okay, cool. And you get plus one speed this turn. I think I'm gonna wait. Uh, let's move you... Like, right here. So, let's just re-verify. Yeah, so we're good there. Let's move you, like, right here. <clears throat> so hopefully that'll draw this enemy over here. And then we can kind of take them out. You're gonna be the problem. Because I don't want to die to you. Um, okay, how much damage do you do? You only do two damage. That's the main problem with you currently, and I don't want any units to die, so... I'm going to feel more comfortable just sending this dork in. Oh, I should've used Plow Ahead. That was my bad. Um... Boom. And... Let's attack. Alright. And with my other bit, let's move into this forest, because then I get extra defense, so you can't one-hit me. Right? Let's see, I have 4 HP, I gain plus 1 armor while in forests, and... Oh, is that how the armor works? I thought it just blocked 1 damage, but maybe the first bit of damage you take is ignored? Or like, 1... Since I have 1 armor, 1 point of damage is ignored, and then I take the other bit. Yeah, unit gains plus one armor while in forest. Okay, that's how it works. It's like a- it's a- it's a number that you stack, and then it blocks that much attack damage. It's- see, I thought it was armor where it was like, okay, this unit now has- now has one armor. Basically, if an enemy hits a one, it's just gonna do a zero, no matter what. <clears throat> okay, that's good to know. We are learning. So, what is your range? I do think I want to move you- a little bit closer. Let's let's check your. It doesn't say what attacks you have, but your your range is one, so I think we're fine here. All right, let's end our turn. Sorry, just trying to figure out some mechanics here right now. Okay, so you lived with one HP because you only took three damage because of my armor. Good. Bop. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Wait, why am I even doing that? I got the free attack. <laughs> There we go. Cool. Easy kill. <coughs> I could have killed that enemy earlier, probably, just by running up on them and stabbing them, but... I was trying to use this as an opportunity to learn as much about the game as I could. <coughs> Alright, so... Sorry, I had to clear my throat there, jeez. Spitunia. Poison attacks, add poison shot. Two range. Kinda low health. You're not bad, though. Upgrade a plant's card in your hand. Destroy. Okay, cool. Eat all enemies, don't lose any units. I did it. What's my bonus for not losing any units? Was that the extra 10 money I got? <coughs> wow, leave us alone, you stinky losers. Who are you calling a loser? <laughs> hey, you little twerps. Cut it out. Those are mine. Uh-oh. The angry lady's here. Hurry up. Grab as much as you can and scram. 
Don't just stand there, chase after them. Hey, pretty sure that's out of our scope of work. As if, you didn't scare them at all. They're going to be back as soon as you leave. Man, I thought this was going to be easy. I'm paying you to get to the root of this problem. Haha, <laughs> I get it, because... <laughs> is that some vegetable humor? Haha, <laughs> nice. Go. Jeez, okay, we're going. <clears throat> what a fantastic first day on the job. We acquired a card from that last battle. We can add it to our deck here. Cool, let's do that. This is the deck builder. We can add cards to our deck through here. Um, okay. So... Okay, backpack by deck. Okay, okay, wait. No, this is my deck. Okay. On this side uh, are all the cards currently in our deck. And on this side is our backpack, all the cards we've collected so far. Cards with the lock icon on them are base cards. They can't be removed from our deck. And here's our commander, Captain Thistle. We can switch them out, but only with other plants commanders. We can remove any cards from the deck that don't have a lock icon and store them in the backpack. Our deck must always have a minimum of 12 cards. Let's add Spatunia to our deck now. Check the Spatunia card in the backpack. Or click it. <clears throat> okay, so we're current. So you're considered a plant card. I'm guessing, as well as these, for the sake of this grow ability. Yeah, so I'm guessing we're going by, like, types of cards, kind of like how Yu-Gi-Oh! has it. Where it's like, we have different, like, you know, this is a this is a, an air creature, or a fire creature, or an undead creature. Alright, click the Spatunia card in the backpack. It's been a while since I played Yu-Gi-Oh!, to be fair. Um, I don't really remember the different types. I remember a bunch of, like deck kinds, like, you know, the, the themed decks, like the Gym Warriors and, um, you know, you know, that stuff. Sorry, it's been a long time. Click this Petunia card in the backpack. <clears throat> and bingo, this Petunia will be added to our deck. It's that easy. Alright, so we can have up to 30 cards, but we must have at least 12. Well, I have very much been spoiled by... Uh, games like, or, or taught by games like Slay the Spire and Monster Train. Uh, I definitely always like to have a little, few cards in my deck, because then I can only draw my good ones. Um, so I don't know if we'll max that out, but there might be specific deck builds, like there are in Slay the Spire and Monster Train, that, uh, incentivize you to have as many cards in your deck as possible. Bingo, it's continue to be in our deck, it's that easy. Creating a strong deck will be critical to our success, so let's keep an eye on new cards as we get them. When we're all done, let's go head back to the world map will do. Um, okay, so we have a succulent kicker, which, yeah, maybe if they're green, that just means they're a plant, right? Maybe it's just if they're green, that means they're a plant. Because I don't see, like, it listed as, oh, this is a plant creature uh, anywhere here. Okay, so, yeah, so that, the thorns is removed, so and reap are always there. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to understand some things here. Um, alright, so we got attack an enemy, so I can't like kicker, Spatunia. Well, I obviously want Grow in as well. I don't think I'll take anything out for Grow. I, I do feel like I have too many damn move cards, but... Um, it does get destroyed after, though, so it's fine. Uh, this is basically this game's version of exhausting cards. Um, exhaust is... Exhaust is the, um, what is it, uh, the Slay the Spire version. I forget what the Monster Train version is. Purge? I think it's Purge. No, Purge removes it for the rest of the run. Sorry. I play a lot of card game roguelikes, so I'm going to be sitting here talking about those mechanics a lot in relation to this. I'm sorry. Uh, alright, save. Okay, I guess that sound effect is my confirmation that we did indeed save. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> The floppy disk is the save icon, so I clicked that button thinking it was save, but that's just different ways to sort your cards. Oh my god. I've been ruined. I've been ruined. I, I see the floppy disk and it's the save icon. <laughs> that's funny, I'm sorry. Alright, so um, this is my deck. So this leads us back to the map and then that's probably upgrading. Or something. Okay. Squad attack. Destroy the satellite when in five turns or less. Okay, I'm definitely going to love this game. This this is going to be a very, very fun time. I'm loving the art. I'm loving the music. 
The combat feels pretty good. The card system feels pretty deep so far. It, there's nothing I don't like about this game at the moment. It is so good, and I'm so happy I decided to play it, and I'm very excited to play more. Um, I think we're probably going to go ahead and end this one off here. I may try to upload this one early. Like, the game just released... 52 minutes ago. I may just try and go ahead and upload this one early this morning, and then uh, I'll upload another video uh, to go up at 4 p.m. Uh, today. So, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Floppy Nights off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.